You can see my block has got these um, stones on it. Yours may or may not. Uh, that has to do with this texture down here in what's on the right pane normally. You'll see I've got a texture here that says brand, uh, brick blend cobble to cob or something like that. Whatever texture is in this box when you create a block um, like that is going to be what's mapped onto your, your brush. So this is how you texture things automatically once you build things. Uh, so let's do this again. Let's try doing it from the side now. I'm going to increase, I'm going to shorten my, uh, inc increase my grid, yeah, I guess so. Smaller grid, yeah, that's how I'd do it. And I'm going to build a, what would be a wall. Press enter, and then there's a wall. I can do it again. Press enter, and then there's another one. try it from this direction and you'll see I can change where my block is going to be in the 3D views or I mean sorry in the 2D views by moving it around in any of the any of the 2D views you can scale it on any the, your front right or top directions and then once you've made it you press enter And one more time for the fourth wall. So right now we have a box without a top. For the top, I'm going to show you something a little bit different, and I hope this will be useful uh, later, is duplicating uh, brushes that you've already created. The way you do that is you select a brush that you'd like to duplicate, copy it essentially, and you, and you can uh, right-click it and do copy and, and paste. Um, but if you want to stay out of these menus, you can just hold down the shift key on your keyboard, left click and hold on your on your uh, brush, and then drag a copy of wherever you would like. So you can see I'm moving in the 2D view and I'm on my um, on my side and front views. And then when you're done, release your mouse button. So I've essentially copied the bottom piece onto the top piece. Uh, uh, uh. Now I can move my camera inside, and there's my room. I'm gonna I'm gonna expand this view a little bit. You can do that by holding down the uh, the little bars in between your uh, uh, views to resize them. And now I can look around inside my box. It looks pretty awful, but and there you go. This is our first room. Congratulations. So now that you have your room, let's do something with it. Uh, I want to spice it up just a little bit before we jump into the map, which is certainly possible, well, almost possible right now. Uh, a little bit about texturing. Right now we've got this pretty horrendous uh, brick uh, stone action thing going on here. And I want to introduce you, I've already talked a little bit about the camera and um, block tools and a little bit of the selection tool, but I want to talk about these two right here. They look like little blocks. Um, this one is toggle texture application and this one's apply current texture. So let's try applying current texture. Go over here to the right uh, pane under texture group and this block thing. You'll see a button called Browse. Click that. And then this is a huge database of all of the textures of all of the source games that you should own or that um, Hammer can find in your source folders. So uh, these are the textures that you can use in your map. So select one you like. Uh, I'm going to go with the... Uh, I like that yellow. So I'm going to double click on that. And then that will be our active texture right now. You can see it in this in this uh, small square view. And if you want to change the texture of a particular block in your map, then you just click on the block and then click Apply Current Texture. And voila! Now instead of uh, stone, we have this brick thing going on. 
I'm going to do that to this one, this one, and this one. Cool, right? So now for you'll notice that um, when I apply the texture, it applies it to all parts of our block. The front face, the back face, you can see that because the outside of our um, outside of our room has the same texture as the inside. But in many cases you won't want that. Let's suppose I wanted to say paint the floor here instead of painting this outside area. I could do that by using the um, toggle texture application tool. So click that. This is a much more complex version of applying textures. You can scale textures, you can shift textures along the, um, the plane that your world is on, you can rotate textures, uh, you can try to you can make them fit certain ways, um, and then we'll get into displacements later. Uh, that's a little bit more complicated. But here's how you just change one face of your block. Let's try to find a different texture that we can use. I don't know. Oh, maybe I should tell you this. So click on Browse. And then over down here in the Filter and Keyword section, you can type Filter um, some kind of property of the texture that you'd like to use. For example, Floor. If I type Floor, then it's going to come up with a bunch of textures that are designated as floors. You don't have to use them as floors, but that's the way that the original developers used it. So, might as well, right? I want to pick that red. Double click the red, or double click whichever one you like. And now it's going to be our active texture. And now, when you move uh, your, uh, your little mouse into the world, then you can see the mouse has a little paint bucket. If you right click on a surface, it'll change that surface to the texture that's in the active texture box. So, I don't know, I could do this wall, for example and the floor. Now it'll only texture that one face. For example, this wall, this side is the red, but if I go outside then it's still the uh, the texture that we put on it earlier. Same thing with the the floor. We've still got that stone texture right there on the outside, and on the inside we've got the red tile texture. You can also use the um, the texture, this toggle texture application tool, to grab a texture that you want by left clicking it, and then that'll it kind of acts like an eyedropper tool if you've ever used um, Photoshop or uh, Paint or something like that. You can left click to get the texture, and then you can use that texture by right clicking as described before, and that way you can texture your map. So try doing the roof the same way. Oops, messed up. I don't know. Uh, why not? Toggle texture application. Right click. There's our crappy roof. Whatever. All right, almost done.